Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, I'll probably get an encampment somewhere around here, in case we end up fighting Shaka. I actually wouldn't mind going to war with him, but I'm not quite ready to do it yet. Anyway, we still have one more rainforest to remove here, so let's do that. I am sadly out of charges on Hercules, so we can't do that anymore. Uh, but we should grab that aqueduct. Preferably before the workshop. So let's just grab it right here. Uh, don't need that anymore. And I still need at least one more builder in my capital. It needs a few more improvements in the area. So that leaves us with 430 faith. How about our city down here? I suppose I could buy that obelisk, but I think we'd be better off with a builder. Okay, let's grab a builder and probably buy that forest over there, near the wonder. That shouldn't be too expensive. Okay, and we can buy this one on the next turn, before the city-state steals it. And not a whole lot I can use Hercules for, we are not fighting anyone. There aren't any barbarians around here. Oh yeah, we can sell citrus now. Rocks in uh, so hand. we should. How much will people actually pay us for it? Uh, who doesn't have citrus? I think everyone has it except Shaka. Okay, she doesn't have it. Uh, that's actually a pretty good price, considering she hates me. Hey, I'll take it. More than 100 gold. Okay, done. And Shaka, how much will he pay? Uh, he will pay less. Yeah, not even 70 gold. This is not a great deal, but I suppose I can accept it. Not much I can do with that citrus anyway. Uh, he's not interested in an embassy. Okay, sure. And not much I can do here. Okay then, uh, so what about our research? How about that second university? I think that might take a little bit too long. It would have to be in my capital, but my capital is a little bit busy. We could also research gunpowder. It's unlikely I'll be building an armory anytime soon. So we could get that and then rifling. If I want to go to war with Shaka at some point, I will need some military techs. And some actual military, obviously. Anyway, I made some new pins. So, aqueduct here and the industrial zone over there. We still have to convert this city, but we are on the way to do exactly that. Uh, two more builds left. Let's get some farms next to the aqueduct we're building. Well, only one, but that's still good. Right, uh, can we get open borders from Shaka? Yes, we can. And then we can go west. It's useful also to explore his territory. It's only 10 gold. Here you go, and now we can actually go west. Might as well send both the skirmishers. It's not like they have anything better to do. They don't. So, okay, let's get the lumber mill, obviously. And we'll buy the other forest. These two tiles will have decent yields, at least. Thanks to Torres del Paine. Unfortunately, I won't be able to plant forests anytime soon. But we will be able to do that in the future. Uh, so, I actually need a mine right here uh, for my capital, so we can get that, and then on the desert hill. Here. That's 11 more turns for the Great Zimbabwe. Can we speed it up? Uh, 10 turns. Okay, works for me. Uh, so, let's use the Apostle first. 
Is there anything without a religion? And not really, there isn't. So I guess it doesn't matter if I use the missionary or not. We should use him for something. Okay, grab that farm. And we'll see what Shaka has back there. So, one more build. We could grab the cattle. That's an option. Yeah, let's just do that. That's a good tile. Okay, that kicked out the other religion. Now we can use the Apostle once or twice. And then we can launch an Inquisition. At least that's the plan. And then keep an Inquisitor in there, just in case the AI converts me back. Which it might eventually. Uh, so, anything else around here? Get that mine. And uh, we should hook up the sea resources. So let's do that. I'm probably working at least one of them. Uh, no, I'm not, but we should improve them anyway. A flood. Uh, that's not my city. Uh, the Ottomans are sending apostles. Yeah, uh, this is where we should really get an Inquisition. I can't really ask him to stop or anything because he hasn't even started. But I definitely need an Inquisition. Here, okay, that's converted. Uh, unfortunately, I have to either go back Actually, no, I don't. I don't need a holy site to start an inquisition. So let's just do that. Because I clearly need some inquisitors to defend myself. Let's just grab them right away. I'm not going to wait. Oh yeah, we also have the Nihang. And we should grab another trade route. Uh, so let's get the trade route. And... Then some Inquisitors. That's 125. That's cheap enough. We'll get a few of them. Uh, the city can get one as well. Okay. Uh, the city can also build something. I uh, don't need a neighborhood in here. Uh, let's grab a shipyard. Definitely a good idea. And a workshop. And a yeah, Gurdwara. Or we can fade by that. Hold on. Yeah, fade by. Done. Uh, 10 out of 18 housing, don't need a neighborhood. I could grab a harbor to get more trade routes. We could also grab that entertainment complex. That's an option. We could get a plus 3 or plus 2 campus. I don't think I want to remove the cattle. So the campus could be up here instead of the mine. So that's still a plus two, however. If I want a plus three, I would have to remove the cattle. Can we get a decent theater square? Uh, not really, unless I build a wonder. I could actually try to build Petra in this city right here. It would take a while, but maybe we can get it. Preserve doesn't really make any sense here. I do still need a diplomatic quarter. And we still need to build the government plaza. Yeah, what actually makes the most sense in this city? I'm not really convinced. The theater square will be pretty bad. I'm not impressed. I suppose I could grab that harbor after all. Preferably a plus two. Okay, let's just get the harbor. It can't go wrong with more trade routes, especially once we get the Great Zimbabwe, which we hopefully will. Okay, shrine. Right, three more builds. What should we get? Uh, the mines, especially this one, adjacent to Torres del Paine. The Tantra tiles will still get two food. That's not exactly great. But it's heck of a lot better than one food. 
you want to buy horses? Uh, heck yeah! I'm definitely selling. So that's going to be 14. It's not going to be a whole lot of gold, but there's no reason not to accept. Now, I know there's a mode uh, that makes these deals much faster. I had some problems getting it to run before. Uh, I need to try to get it to work. That would save quite a lot of time. I am aware of the mod because I've seen a few people posting about it in the comments. So just letting you know that I'm aware of its existence. Alright, well, we got the Inquisitors. He's still coming in my general direction, so I guess we'll be ready. Hopefully I won't need too many, but I'm ready. In case he wants to come closer. So, trade route. What's the best one here? The best one is actually Zanzibar, sort of. Well, it depends on whether I want fate or gold. I want the boat, but let's maybe send this one to Shaka. We are not going to war just yet. We probably will eventually, but definitely not yet. I'm not ready yet. Here, we got the fishing boats, and let's go explore as much as possible. We still need to make contact with, I think, two more AIs. Uh, yeah, two more AIs. And one of them is actually the tech leader. Shaka was actually one tech ahead of me last I checked. Uh, he's at 35, I'm at 34. And then there's one animated player who's in the lead. I would like to know who exactly that is. Okay, that's a lot of civics we can research. Let's see. So, civil engineering, I can definitely boost that. And I should build Statue of Liberty later as well. Just to prevent the AI from building it. We could get natural history right now. Okay, that's definitely worth it. Both for water parks and for archaeologists. Can we build a museum quickly enough? I can try, but... That might not be very quick. Here's a useful great engineer. Production towards wonder construction, heck yeah. I don't think I'll be using him for the Great Zimbabwe though. We can use him for something else. Okay, yeah, this city needs more production. Uh, 21 turns is a bit too long. 17 turns is still long. So, okay, two more builds. Get the Niter. Sure. We can do that. That's partially why I'm here, I guess. I should probably sell some of that Niter. We are getting quite a lot every turn. I can afford to sell it. We can sell some to Kope. We can sell all of it to Kope. 40. Wow, he's paying a lot, actually. Yeah, I will definitely be selling it. Good enough, enjoy! Uh, should have sold... Actually, no, that was fine. What is he doing with the apostles? Oh, this guy has the baiter. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, that is really annoying. I might need more inquisitors. But we'll see. Uh, so, let's finish the Great Zimbabwe here. What other wonders can we build here? I could build something next to our future theater square, maybe. Kilwaki Siwani is still there, that's not a bad one. Mont Saint Michel, that's also not a bad one. Potala Palace, that's always nice, I guess. Taj Mahal, also not a bad one. I'm not really going for religious tourism, so that's not going to help me all that much. Plus 20% faith in this city. 
yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I have to check which city is getting the most fate, however. Might not be my capital. So, okay. A Taj Mahal needs to be built next to a river. And I don't have a lot of those. A Kilwa Kisiwani has to be built on a flat tile adjacent to coast. So that could go here. That's possible. I think it's worth building it. I currently got three city-states. It uh, should have been four. We can get Zanzibar back. Looks like Sweden is competing with us for it. I would like to keep Zanzibar where possible. But that leaves me with two envoys. Uh, either way, we are not using the engineer just yet. We'll finish the Great Zimbabwe the regular way, because it's too close to use a great engineer at this point. That would be a waste of at least some of his production. I could also use him in a different city. That is an option. We could use him for Petra. It's not going to be the most amazing Petra ever, but it's not terrible. I got three desert hills in range. I suppose it would be okay. Alright, fine, we'll build Petra. And hey, who doesn't like Petra, right? Everyone likes Petra. Where do we build it, though? I could actually build it here and then have a theater square next to it. Uh, because if I build it here, then, well, this is already planned out. Unless I get a theater square here instead of the mine. But I would prefer to have a mine on a desert hill when we're building Petra, you know? So I think this location will be a little bit better than this one. Yep. Okay, so let's just do that then. I suppose we can finish the shrine and send the engineer in before somebody beats me to it right now. Okay, well, the apostle is coming. Uh, let's back up a little bit still. Is this guy the debater? Yes, he is. I might need more inquisitors still. So let's grab one more for our capital. I mean, at this point, it's less than one turn worth of my faith, so not a big deal. And I should actually get another hero. It's weird how many of them are still unclaimed. I was thinking we could get Himiko, actually, for the envoys. Especially if I'm going to build Kilwa Kisiwani. That would be very useful, because that would give me quite a few extra envoys for free. So let's do that. And here's another apostle. Uh, that's slightly annoying. Uh, several of them, actually. We can ask him to not convert our cities. Yeah, okay, he will respect our wishes, apparently. I still need to spread my religion down here, however. So we'll do that. Uh, one more build, so just grab a mine. Or we can grab one of the sea resources to get more food. Uh, he's backing up, I think. Well, we'll see on the next turn. But he probably won't back up, now that I think about it. Let's find out. Here's another city-state. I want to find the remaining AIs. Hopefully they will be somewhere in this general direction. Uh, no competition here, interesting. Okay, uh, very interesting. Hold on, I actually still have Diplomatic League. We could take advantage of that. So definitely here. Uh, probably not worth doing that with the other cities. What's the Granada bonus? Oh yeah, it's the improvement. Plus two culture, 
provides science equal to 50% of the tile's appeal. Okay, provides tourism after researching flight. Right, well, let's get allied with it. That's also plus two era score. I only need 10 more era score, but we only got seven turns until the next era. So I don't know if I will be able to do that. I would have to get that theater square, like, right now, basically. Even that might not be enough. It will give me some era score, but it might not be enough. Still, I suppose we could do it. That will delay the Great Zimbabwe a little. But let's do it. I don't know if I can get 10 era score in 7 turns. Uh, here's the AI and the other AI. Okay, so Greece is the tech lead. Wow, 44 technologies researched? Okay, that's a lot. And they got 215 science per turn. Uh, that's not that much, but 44 techs researched is quite a lot, actually. I might have to do something about that at some point. So here's Babylon, and uh, here's Greece. No, that's not Greece. Where's Greece? Do we not know? Uh, we should know. Right about now. Oh yeah, right here. So we could go to war with Shaka first, take a few cities from Shaka, and then attack Greece later on. He's definitely a bit too far ahead in tech. So we need to do something about that. I don't want to risk having him run away with that too much. Uh, so, right, Petra. Where is it? Right here. And the grabber engineer. I might need both the uses. Uh, no, just one. We'll keep the other one for something else. Again, preferably not the Great Zimbabwe because it's almost done. That would be a waste. Uh, okay, we only got a few more turns of monumentalism. Six more turns. Might be a good idea to take advantage of that. Where's Magnus right now? Here. So I could get a settler here if I really want to. We could maybe get a city somewhere in this area close to Greece. I would have to explore it first to see if there's enough space. But it's a possibility, we could try. Let's get a settler. So that's 300. And also buy the obelisk. Done. It might as well buy walls, whatever. And what do we build? Uh, probably industrial zone. That's what I'm thinking. We can get the plus three. So over here would be good enough. Yep. Okay, there you go. I'm keeping my remaining two envoys. Uh, so, improve the amber. Yep, he's coming. So let's see if we can kill him. Just with the Inquisitors. I got four Inquisitors, but they will take a lot of damage. Look at how much damage they will take. I don't actually know if, if I can kill him just with the Inquisitors. I might need my own Apostle with the Bater. And I don't have enough faith to get one right now. Okay, I will be able to kill him, but that took four Inquisitors, and they all took roughly 50% damage. So that was pretty rough. Let's see what he's going to do now. He wants to buy my Niter. That's acceptable. So sell 8, because he has 32 already. He won't buy anything else, because he has too much. This is not going to give us a whole lot of gold. Probably like 30. Slightly more than 30. Done. 
And did he kill anything? Yes, he did. Yes, see, that's annoying. The baiter is very strong for this. Will we actually kill him here? We will. Uh, I hope. Come on. Seriously? So, four Inquisitors didn't kill him. And now my religion got converted. I really don't like that. Well, I might grab an Apostle or two. And try to get the baiter. I really thought that's going to be enough, but it was not. Oh well, it's fine, we'll convert them back. But that was very annoying. Hey, where do you think you're going? Okay, this is going to be enough, right? Yep, okay, now I need to convert my cities back. So another Inquisitor. Here you go. Okay, we are about to get the theater square. So that will be some era score. I don't think I can get enough for a golden age. I could like declare war and convert Shaka cities. That's one way to get war score. A very easy way to get war score, but I'm not declaring war when I'm not ready for the sole purpose of getting more uh, era score, not war score. I'm not doing that. That would be silly. I need five more in three turns. I don't think I can get it. I don't think so. Seems unlikely. Can we get it? No, I don't think we can. I could maybe get another district with a high bonus. Oh, you know what we should get? Mausoleum at Halicarnassus. Now that's a no-brainer right there. We could grab it here and then build a theater square. Uh, like over here. Yep, that's a good enough idea. So right here on the desert tile, that's only nine turns as well. Next up... Economics. Now we can finish the Great Zimbabwe. So, do that. Yeah, five more era score. I don't think you can do it. No, I don't think you can do it. Well, it's not a big deal. We had the Golden Age. I don't need another one all that much. I can live without two Golden Ages in a row. Another Inquisitor. I need to convert my cities back. So, off you go. There it is. Let's go explore some more. Two more turns. Oh, that was aid request. Okay. Sweden got that. Good for them. This is converted. Okay, just one more city, actually. This one. There, done. Alright, one more turn for Petra. And this city as well. So we'll just send the Inquisitor. And keep this one in the general area. I'll keep an Inquisitor in my capital permanently. Just in case. A interesting location for a city. Surrounded by mountains and the coast. I could actually get a city Petra here. Is a brilliant display well, mountains. there's Petra. I would need two more era score. Well, I mean, in theory, I could finish the Green Zimbabwe. Without an engineer. 
Really though, it's not worth it, it really isn't. Uh, here's another friendship and alliance. Uh, who's doing the worst in terms of science? Okay, I can't get alliances uh, with other people here. Okay, he's not doing well. We can get a research alliance with him. Works for me. There we go. Damn it, I only need two more. I don't see any good way to get it here. I could get the city-state. I don't think that would give me era score. No, it wouldn't. We still got the city-state, but no era score from that. Yeah, I don't think I can get it. The only way I could get it would be finishing the Great Zimbabwe right now. But that would really be a waste of this engineer. Because I think that would give me two era score. I don't know, man. It doesn't feel like it's worth it. It's not worth it. I'm not doing that. No. There is one thing I can do, hold on. A first type of certain units gives era score. And I do have a fair bit of gold. Uh, however... Well, yeah, I don't think Siege Tower would give me era score. The problem is that I do not have a single encampment. So I actually cannot buy units other than support units. Getting all the buildings in a district gives a score. But I can't actually do that. So that's not an option. I already had a ship. I don't see a good way to do it. I don't see any way to do it. Is there actually a way? Yeah, I don't think recruiting this guy would give me anything. I suppose I can still grab one, cause why not? Okay, yeah, that's still 108. I'm pretty sure getting a siege tower wouldn't give me anything. Okay, yeah, well, I still grabbed one, but that didn't give me any era score. I see no way to get Era score here. I don't. And no deals will give me Era score. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I'm two points short. But I just really don't see a way to do it. Well, no point debating it forever. I can't, so I can't. It's fine. What do we do here? Oh, yeah, I need amenities by now. I really need an entertainment complex. Or we can wait a few turns for natural history and get a few water parks. That's probably a much better idea. What about the dam? Oh, yeah, and I guess we need to repair that. All right, then. Get our unique building. Uh, nothing in here will give me era score, I'm afraid. But workshop is next. Uh, actually, no, hold on. Holy site is next. Yeah, that's a no brainer. That's definitely next. I'm a bit disappointed I couldn't get it, but. Oh well. It's not the end of the world. Maybe we can get it the next time. Here it is, industrial era. So we'll pick up... Probably reform the coinage now. That's what I'm thinking. I got four trade routes already and we will be getting more. So let's get that. Great Zimbabwe is almost done. That will give us 
quite a bit of extra gold. So do we settle here or somewhere else? How's the loyalty there? Yeah, minus 20. That would be a little bit tricky to manage. I could get a city like here. Maybe there's some land in this area. I just want to be reasonably close to Greece. Closer than this city. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll try. Uh, so, let's finish Great Zimbabwe and then see what else we can build. King Solomon there it is, the nice. So, there's the era score. So what else do we build here? There are quite a few good wonders. I think I will get Kilwaki Siwani, especially with all the city-states we have right now. So let's grab that then. That's worth it, it's a good wonder. Here, that's seven more turns. Uh, hopefully we will actually get it. The Colossus is still available. What the heck, I'm going to build it, or try at least. Uh, okay, maybe finish repairing everything. And then we'll get the Colossus. But if not, but they built it by now, that probably means they are not interested in building it. They would have built it by now, that's how I feel. How about open borders with Greece? We could explore his territory. Because it's not like we're going to war yet. I plan to, but we're not going yet. Here, done, we got open borders. He actually doesn't hate me right now, so that's good to see. I get a religion here. I'm not waiting to get two banks, because that's not happening in the near future. Natural history is almost done, then we can work on some water parks, because I kind of do need at least a few. At least like one or two. There we go, got the religion. So let's explore over here and let's go east. There should be some land over there. I already see some. If it's unsettled, that might be a better location. Some natural history. Uh, there's natural history. Okay, it looks unsettled. There are a few barbarians, but maybe I can handle that with two skirmishers. Maybe, we'll see. What the next? Colonialism. Yep. I'm not using any of my envoys here. We also need to switch the policy. So, from Diplomatic League, back to Charismatic Leader. I think I still need the land surveyors. We could actually pick up Professional Army uh, to get some unit upgrades done or force modernization. I'm still keeping serfdom, I think. Okay. I mean, I can't fight by builders anymore, but we can recruit them. Uh, there's Himiko. I think I'll just use her to maintain control of my existing city-state friends. We actually lost Zanzibar again. We are right next to Zanzibar. So I definitely want to keep that one. And it's a good city-state for amenities. So I definitely want it. Wait, what? Shaka is buying Aaron? Uh, only eight. But sure, he's getting coal already. Uh, that means he has coal. I'm taking notes. Yeah, that's not a bad deal. We can actually get friendly with Greece. Uh, but I don't necessarily want to. I definitely don't want to. I could because we're not going to war yet. Not even in the near future. But I don't know about that. He does have quite a bit of science there. I don't like him being this far ahead. 47 tags, I got 36. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But okay, we can get declaration of friendship for now. Uh, he has amber already. He already has aluminum, really. 
Okay, now I really don't like that. Uh, that is concerning. He definitely needs to be a target. Anyway, let's try to build the Colossus here. Uh, there's our unique building, so fight by the Gurdwara. And uh, yeah, maybe fight by Apostle. And then... I don't need some more theater squares. This will be a decent spot for one of them. Uh, but first, industrial zone. So this was the planned spot. That's going to be it. And then an aqueduct. Because we still need an aqueduct here. Uh, but first, industrial zone. So, get the envoys. What's the situation here? Eight. Okay, I'll just get a bunch. Because I'm not giving up that city-state. I need to keep it. Our skirmisher is not having a good time. How's the loyalty over there? Okay, I could handle that. Maybe I should send a unit or two. I guess I could have sent Hercules, but he only has six turns left. So that's not tremendously helpful. Got Zanzibar back. How's that university? It's four turns away. Might as well wait for it at this point. Not sure about the neighborhoods yet. Back up. So, right, actually, let's just evangelize belief. I should have done that a while ago, but better late than never. So I could go for a crusade if I want to, especially since it would be pretty easy to spread my religion to Shaka with how much faith I'm getting. So that is an option. Is there a better one? Honestly, I don't think so. I think I'll actually get Crusade. And it's also an easy way uh, to get Erascor. Convert cities of the sieve you're at war with. So, what the heck, let's get Crusade. That will also give me Erascor. Uh, that was one way to get Erascor earlier. But we should be able to get Golden Age uh, for our next one. I'm pretty sure I can get Golden Age the next time. Oh yeah, a declaration of friendship with the Ottomans. I do plan to stay friendly with them. Uh, there's the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. I really like that wonder. So, alliance again. He accepted. So, right, I can't get alliance with Greece or with him. Okay, I don't need two neighborhood restricts. The city doesn't necessarily need one right now, but I need to get two districts uh, for a bonus, for a boss rather, to boss sanitation. Let's just grab one. Plus six is good. Uh, this is also plus six. Might be better to keep the style for a potential wonder. That's what I'm thinking. And not that it matters, we do have a flat tile at the chainstone to the city center on this side. I could also place the neighborhood here, so that it's next to the other districts. But I would rather get plus six housing. Okay, let's have it on the desert. And then I'll need one more in some other city. Okay, one more envoy in Zanzibar. Now, I will have to handle these barbarians here. It would be nice if Shaka helped me. On the other hand, if the barbarians weren't there, Shaka probably would have settled that location. He most likely didn't settle it because of the barbarians. So, I don't think I'm changing anything here. Not really, no. Uh, we should upgrade the warriors by now. I have the money. Might as well do it. 
they are just a little bit obsolete. Just a tiny little bit. Here you go. I can't upgrade the knight just yet. So I suppose I could switch out now. I upgraded everything. What would be the most helpful? Anything? Uh, probably something over here. Uh, well, I could get plus 20 to fate now. I could also get Medina Quarter. I could get Triangular Trade, but I don't think I need that. I think I might just grab that extra fate here. I'm getting a lot of fate right now. But we can use that fate to recruit an army. You know, the Nihangs. Wait, uh, what did I need to get more combat strength? Oh yeah, an encampment and the buildings in the encampment, right? I think that was it. I'm pretty sure that was it. Yeah, so I need to get an encampment. Uh, that is still the plan. We could also use our fate to recall uh, Hercules yet again, once he's gone in four turns. And I could also recall Anansi. That's an option too. And I could send him like all the way here or something. And can we fade by anything else? Yeah, just fade by the walls. A medieval walls? Not really. Yeah, I might just grab a few new hangs here. What the heck? Why the heck not? It's Yogi's for free. Well, not for free technically, I'm paying faith. But we're getting so much faith that they might as well be free. Uh, let's get started on civil engineering. Uh, once I get the encampment, that should give me enough. In fact, once I build the neighborhood district, that should give me enough. Uh, one more envoy here, I really don't want to lose Zanzibar. Still got four more charges. Kilwa is one of the most. Uh, there's Kilwa Kisiwani, nice. That is such a good one there. How many city states do we have now? Uh, six of them. So that's going to be quite a lot of bonuses from six city states. And uh, now there are a lot of things I need here because I've been busy building wonders. So this guy needs to heal up. We got a promotion, nice one. Hopefully Shaka will help me now. I guess I can send these guys, but they aren't that useful without that encampment. And I'd rather finish the holy site first. I suppose we'll wait for two neighborhoods. Here, scientific theory. And the university is almost done. We got four more charges. Let's use them on Valletta, actually. I would hate to lose Valletta. That is one of the most important city-states I own at the moment. So we will get some extra envoys there. What gunpowder did for war? There we go, printing bonus. And yeah, but that got destroyed yet again. Uh, pretty annoying because I would like to finish the Colossus, you know. Uh, let's just finish the Colossus and we'll do the repairs after. What's next? I still need the Government Plaza. <laughs> okay, let's just build the Government Plaza, alright? I delayed it long enough. In my defense, I was really busy building wonders. And then we need some amenities. So, water park right here on the lake. That seems like the most obvious location for it. That also means it will be adjacent to two other districts. So, perfect location. In this city... Uh, well, I could grab a water park again. Uh, we could always get a harbor. Uh, we could get an aqueduct, but I would have to get it on a hill with good production. Uh, let's maybe grab an industrial zone, uh, preferably on the desert. That's the most useless tile over there. And we'll try to settle the city. 
Uh, however, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it to denounce the YouTube algorithm as its tradition. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.